What's up everybody? My name's Kirk and I am super excited that you've joined me in Connect today. I have a question for you. Have you ever had a new teacher? I've had new teachers before and some of them were easy to obey and then others were hard to obey. You know, it can be hard to obey the leaders that God has given us all the time. Now we have a point that we need to learn that can help us with that. I'm gonna say it. I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. I can obey the leaders God gave me. Fantastic job. All right, we're gonna go straight into worship. So let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more. When it's showtime, it's okay to just sit back and watch. But when it's worship time, everybody gets up to sing. The songs that connect are an excellent way to let God know that He comes first in our life. Nothing can stop us from showing Him that He deserves our best singing and our endless energy. So get up on your feet and let's connect to God together. Shut 
Hey, Luke. Hey, you okay? You're limping. Uh, I will be. I just stumped my toe on a box of gadgets that Edison left in the hall. You know, I have a big list of things to tidy up today. I have a guest coming. Man, okay, you look stressed. Is there anything I can do to help? Find Edison and tell him to clean up his mess. Got it. Find Edison and tell him, wait, what? I'm supposed to do what? Um, listen, I, I'm still, will he listen to me? I'm still new here. I, am I even allowed to tell people what to do? I don't know. Um, <laughs> you will be fine. Okay. Just remember, mm -hmm. you're a leader and you only want to do what's best for him. Edison knows that and he knows to obey his leaders. <sighs> okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Oh, I, and remind him that any gizmos or gadgets that are littered all over is a safety code violation, 5821. Okay, got it. I'm a leader, I want what's best for him, and he's violating safety code 5128. 5821. 5821, yep, yeah, got it, okay. He'll be fine. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Edison, and this is how I learn why we obey. Hey, Edison. Um, hey, you left a mess in the lounge, uh, and Oof. also here. Um, but uh, lounge, though, that's a, a safety code violation of sixty-four thirty. That's not it. Um, Thirty-nine. You know what? It's a safety code violation, and we're gonna need you to just go clean that up really quick. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, uh, Luke sent me. Um, he told me to tell you, as as your leader, um, that you need to go help clean up your mess. Uh, sorry, I'm super busy with this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, why don't you just go clean up your mess really quick and then you can come right back to this. Sorry, but I'm focused on this right now. Yeah, I can I can see that. Um Hey, listen, I know that I'm still new here, but I'm I'm also a leader. And uh as a leader, I'm asking you to maybe stop what you're doing and Uh go no thanks. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm a big old failure. What happened? Well, you said Edison knew how to obey, and he sure didn't obey me. He didn't listen to me at all. Oh, sounds like we have similar problems. Tony, this is Mrs. Lang. She's the head of an agency that oversees safety in schools across America. Nice to meet you, Miss Lang. Uh, what brings you to Connect HQ? Oh, Luke invited me. I've been reading a lot of postcards lately from teachers that are having the same problem. Kids aren't obeying the rules. It's causing all sorts of problems. Luke wrote me to see if he could help. Safety is my passion, and I would do anything to help keep kids safe. Oh. Well, if you have any pointers on how to get Edison to respect me, I'll take them. Oh, me too. Well, it's not just about respect. I mean, God expects us to obey. The Bible tells us this in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 20. I don't think I'm familiar with that verse. Yeah, Luke, do you have any emotions to maybe help us remember it? I do. Say it with me, like this. Colossians 3, 20. Colossians 3, 20. Children, always obey your parents. Children. Always, Always obey, obey your parents. parents. For this pleases the Lord. Oh. For, For this pleases the Lord. Lord. But wait, that, that verse says, obey your parents. I, I'm not Edison's dad. Oh, yes, and it doesn't say anything about teachers. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't just mean mom or dad. It means obeying the people God gives you as leaders, people you trust and respect. Like teachers and coaches? Or foster parents, church leaders, police officers. Oh even new Connect HQ leaders like me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We should obey trusted leaders. Edison knows better. I think you should talk with him again. Okay, we will do. But until then, I would stay away from the lounge. It's still a little messy. I, I got yeah. <laughs> now, when it comes to safety, this binder solves tons of problems. Oh, yes. All right, you got this. 
your leader. You got this. Hey, Edison. Hey, how's it going? Uh, okay. Almost finished modifying this telescope. That's awesome. Um, are you uh, ready to take a break and you know clean up that epic mess in the lounge? It's not epic. It's just a few boxes of gadget parts. Well, regardless of what it is, you know I I really need you to clean it up. Uh, I promise I'll get to it later. Um, is all this for uh, Binky's Comet? It, it is. You're familiar with Binky's Comet? Yeah. Actually, I heard about it on the news, and I was hoping that if I go outside later tonight, maybe I could see it. Oh, uh, with this telescope, you can see Binky's Comet. I'm supercharging it so we can see every last particle. Man, that seems pretty important to you. It only passes once every 35 years. Hmm. Well, hey, I tell you what. I will help you with this telescope, but first things first. Uh, attach the magnifier to the automated arm. I was actually, um, I was thinking about something else. Oh, yeah, <laughs> cleaning up my mess. Right. Okay. Uh, you got it. I can obey the leaders God gave me. I know you can. And I know it pleases God whenever you listen to trusted leaders. No, come on. And when we get back, you can tell me all about this telescope, okay? So why is it called Binky's Comet? Uh, because Dr. Julius Binky discovered it. Wait. So you're telling me that if I discover a comet, I can call it Tony's Comet? That's how it works. <sighs> That's awesome. <laughs> Love that. And with just that small adjustment, we saw a 46% decrease in running in the halls. Your attention to safety around here is admirable. Well, it's not just about following a set of rules at Connect HQ. We want everyone to know both obedience and disobedience have consequences. Well, what do you mean? I can actually show you. Are you familiar with the Bible story of the prodigal son? Refresh my memory. It's about a son who ignores his dad's rules and goes on his own way. Here, I can show you. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. Why does Jesus spend time with people who do bad things? The religious leaders wondered. So Jesus told them a story about God's love. This is how it went. A man had two sons. The younger son asked for the money he would get when the father died. Heartbroken, the father gave his younger son half of his property. The son moved to a distant country. He wasted all the money. Then a famine came, and he had to feed pigs. He wished he could eat the pigs' food. My father's servants do better than this, he thought. I'll return home and admit that I have sinned against him and God. Maybe he'll make me one of his servants. The son went home. While he was still far away, his father ran to him and hugged him. I'm not worthy to be your son, he told his father. Bring my son my best robe, the father told his servants. Put a ring on his finger, roast our fattest calf. My boy was lost and now he's found. The older son was angry when he heard about the celebration. It's not fair, he complained. I work faithfully and get nothing. He wastes your money and gets a party. All that's mine is yours, the father replied. Your brother was dead. Now he's alive. He was lost. Now he's found. So what can we do but celebrate? I think we can agree that disobeying the rules brings bad consequences. In this case, the son runs out of money and has to eat garbage. Oh, that is the very definition of bad consequence. <laughs> But we forget obedience brings consequences also. Good consequences, like 
gaining trust to have responsibilities and privileges. Oh, like staying out of trouble and being safe. That's a great way to say it. Mm -hmm. At Connect HQ, we see safety as one of the good consequences of obeying. I can see how it might be helpful how teaching our kids that following their leaders could lead to good things. You know, I was looking over your programs, and I don't think that your kids need more rules. I think what they need is a leader to help guide them. Oh. You mean a leader like you? <laughs> I, I didn't exactly mean that. Oh, but at our agency, I don't think I have ever met anyone as passionate as you are about keeping people safe. Oh, and you are very good at communicating your vision. We could really use someone like you to help supervise. Are you offering me a job? If you're interested, we would be blessed to have you on our team. Wow, I, 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 that's incredible. But uh, I need some time to pray about it and talk through it with my friends. Of course, give it some time. And let me know. Like you said, with the right leaders, our safety would improve. I would love for you to be a part of that. I'll definitely consider it. Hmm. What do you think? Is it working? It's excellent. The modifications worked. I can see the bottom of your pores. Oh, okay. Um, wait, listen. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back to this after cleaning up your mess in the lounge. I appreciate it. And I owe you an apology for earlier. I'm sorry I didn't clean up my mess right away. Thanks, Edison. I also think it's important to remember that God's love for us never changes. So if we do disobey, we always get another chance. <laughs> Next time, I'll listen the first time. And I can obey the leaders God gave me. I know you can. Oh, and thanks for building trust by listening to me and showing interest in what I was working on. Yeah, of course. I think astronomy stuff is fascinating. When's the comet supposed to come by? Oh no, it's still daytime! Oh yeah! Mm-hmm! Oh, I, oh, I saw oh. the sun's pores! Okay. Maybe we made it a little too powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the other way. Oh, oh left. Yeah, left. that way. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi, my name is Edison, and I learned something about obedience that I wanted to share with you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 20. Say it with me, like this. Colossians 3, 20. Children, always obey your parents, for this pleases the Lord. When we obey our parents and our trusted leaders in our life, we're obeying God too. He put them there on purpose so they could help us and guide us too. When you disobey, there are consequences, but God's love for you never changes. He always gives you another chance. You can choose to apologize and get back to obeying your leaders. God loves it when we obey our leaders, because when we do, we are obeying Him. He put all kinds of different leaders in our life. They are there to keep us safe. Respecting and listening to trusted leaders has good consequences. It helps us stay away from trouble. Do what you need to do to stay safe. If a leader ever tells you to do something wrong or dangerous, tell an adult you trust as soon as possible. I can obey the leaders God gave me. Even though sometimes I make mistakes, I look for ways I can obey God and trust in His voice. He never gives up on us. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. You have been my best friend for a long time. What do you think I should do? Honestly, as much as it pains me to say it, it sounds like a dream job for you. Would you take it? I wasn't offered the job. You were. No, I mean, if you were in my shoes. Well, I would, I would pray to God and see if he's behind me. I have been praying all about it, and I wanted you guys to pray with me too. Hey, maybe Edison can like clone you and you can do both. I wish. But until then, it's one way or the other. You know, my heart breaks for those kids who aren't safe in school and I know I could help them. Well, it sounds like you would be present here, but your heart would be out there. That's deep. <laughs> I have my moments. Oh, it sounds like you should leave Connect HQ. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. 
Have you told Captain Ray yet? No. I'll make a decision and then I'll let her know. Well, I'll be there for you, buddy. No matter what you decide, I'll support you. I just don't want to make the wrong choice. Well, then my advice to you would be choose God's way and you can't go wrong. Where God guides, God provides. I knew I could count on you to be a good friend, Mike. You know, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Pinky's comment was incredible. I can't wait to see it again in 35 years. I'll be almost 50 years old. We should remember that obeying God and the trusted leaders in our life is good for us. But we disobey all the time. When we disobey, that's called sin. When we sin, it separates us from God and ruins our lives. But good news, when Jesus died on the cross and came back to life three days later, he defeated the power of sin. And now we're free from sin and disobedience. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you wanna make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. That is the most important decision that you can make. Be sure to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today to learn more about it. Now we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it. I need you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Colossians 3:20. Children, always obey your parents for this pleases the Lord. Fantastic job. Now let's see how well you can obey your leader. I want you to pick one person to be your leader and take turns asking them for permission to do fun stuff like a somersault or an army crawl or maybe a crab walk. If they say you can do the thing you ask them to do, do it. If they say no, freeze and wait for your next turn. Got it? All right, pause the video and play the game. So whether your leader tells you yes or says no, God can still help you obey them. Now we have some fantastic questions for you and your family to answer. Thank you so much for joining me and Connect. I will see you later.